Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Have another interesting video this time coming out of Granite City, Illinois of rare sky phenomena. We're going to come back and take a look at here in just a moment. Also going to look at another mysterious shape in the daytime sky out of Nashville, Tennessee. Sent in by Bobby. Just does not look like a natural cloud. But first I want to touch base on something that I posted in a video a couple of days ago about the sun swallowing the earth. I didn't mean it literally. I meant it figuratively. And what you're looking at right here is a large plasma cloud, a CME, completely enveloping the Earth, the magnetosphere. So that's what I meant by it, figuratively speaking. And guess what? It is happening again right now as I do this video. We'll come back and take a look at all that information here in just a moment. But first, over here at the homepage of the website, today's feature photo was sent in by Darren out of Fort Collins, Colorado, of a huge rainbow in the sky above Fort Collins. And if you look real close, you can see multiple layers of purple, which is kind of rare. Checking in on the GOES X-ray flux over here at the Space Weather Prediction Center. Definitely an uptick here in the last 24 hours. You can see a, a large M-class solar flare. There's a cannibal CME headed towards the Earth as a result of that strong solar flare. And there is another one in progress. So a definite increase in solar activity. And looking at the Earth-facing side of the Sun, you can clearly see why there's an increase in solar activity. Look at this this large active region and sunspot that's capable of producing X-class solar flares. This has been verified from Portugal of that very large active region that was easily visible from Portugal. Another good video by Carlos Skywatcher. Thank you, Carlos. Really appreciate that. Looking at the SOHO Lasco C3, you can see the, the wide field of view. We're looking at possibly cannibal CMEs headed towards the Earth. And here's a look at the ionosphere showing that that energy is definitely making contact with the Earth. Earth essentially being devoured by all of those charged particles from the sun, causing radio blackouts in the higher latitudes. Here's what's coming our way. This is called a cannibal CME me. The reason it's called a cannibal CME is because it devours the CMEs in front of it because it's moving exponentially faster towards the planet. And all of that energy is headed towards the Earth right now as I do this video. Earth is the green dot there that's supposed to be receiving that energy basically sometime in the next 24 to, to 36 hours. Looking at the planetary K index right now, all quiet, but this is definitely subject to change. Looking at the Schumann resonance, those of you that are sensitive to the energy in the Schumann, you can see the, the last 24 hours have been pretty quiet. We did see a huge increase in activity about three days ago, but since then, all quiet. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that, that monitor the mighty supervolcano all in all pretty quiet at the supervolcano caldera want to take you guys now to granite city illinois this video has narration it's a uh, some sort of mysterious objects falling through the nighttime sky and there were multiple witnesses that witnessed these things come down through the sky above granite city illinois here we go oh yo dude there's three look, 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 three look, 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 look. holy yep. shit. What is going on here? Dude, what? Whoa. What's Whoa. going on here, dude? Whoa. I'm probably all right. Look at them move like smoke. You don't see no flashes. Dude, they're gone. Whoa. Dude, I'm telling you, bro. Thank you, Lord. I got that one. Whoa. Dude, that was cool. And as you can tell, they were very taken back by what they saw in the nighttime sky on the 7th of February above Granite City, Illinois. Dude, they're gone. Dude, what they saw in the nighttime sky on the 7th of February above Granite City, Illinois. And this was around 8 o'clock at night, I believe. Not quite sure what to make of what they saw here. I've never seen anything quite like it. I've seen things like this in the daytime sky, birds flying in formation. But these birds must have been some sort of radioactive birds if they're glowing like lights moving through the sky above Granite City, Illinois. And one gentleman, you could hear him describe 
describe them as some sort of smoke moving through the sky. So very weird encounter of something in the sky above Granite City, Illinois. Video footage sent in by Jeremiah Nishke from February 7th of 2024. Thank you, Jeremiah. Really appreciate that. Going from Granite City to Nashville, Tennessee. Video footage by Bobby also from 2-7 of, of 2024. However, this was in the daytime sky when he looked up and noticed a triangle formation in the daytime sky like we just saw out of Billings, Montana. And we've seen things like this in the sky above Florida. And now this same type of sky phenomena is being noticed in Nashville, Tennessee just a few days ago. Right there is what he saw. That's what compelled him to, to take the video footage was what looks like a unnatural shape in the sky. Everything else looks random. The clouds all look random with the exception of what appears to be a nearly perfect triangle just sitting in the sky near the sun above Nashville, Tennessee. I want to show you guys some video footage of a rogue storm that just kind of appeared out of nowhere a couple of nights ago. We weren't expecting this and we got weather alerts on our phones saying that there were storms in the area. So I stepped outside. Sure enough, there was a storm off off to the east and at one point in this video here I just filmed for a couple of minutes and at this point right here it almost looked like the lightning made contact with something like a tower over there because it didn't make contact with the ground it stopped right there the the lightning came down almost horizontally out of those clouds off to the east and they were very intense for the better part of 45 minutes saw some brief heavy rains and then of course lightning that you can see here some apparently making contact with something on the ground almost appeared to be some sort of a, a tower off in the distance from February 10th of 2024. Here's a look at the sun once again throwing yet another fit earth in the process of being devoured once again by a huge wave of charged particles from the very active earth facing side of the sun. You just saw a, a huge solar flare right there. That was one of the most recent M class solar flares with a large CME that you can clearly see right there. That is absolutely huge and this one down here in the southwestern quadrant I couldn't get over how fast that was so I paused it to get a look at this thing and it was a high speed CME a very strong solar flare coming off the southwestern limb of the sun and that thing was moving incredibly fast they don't normally come off that fast and here's a look at the earth facing side of the sun once again all of this energy moving at nearly 2 million miles per hour yet another huge radiation storm full of charged particles devouring planet earth thanks for the photos and videos guys keep them coming if you guys have any photos you'd like to share you can send those to reports at mr mbb 333.com if you guys have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email come over here to the home page of the website you can always find a link down below in the description box look for this red banner that says have a large video it's a dropbox drag and drop your video into the dropbox please include your first name date and location and i'll take it from there thanks for watching have a super day and be safe out there